Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update October 18th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 296. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, Victoria Song is the Golden Eagle Goddess and the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. But first, as always, here's what's recently premiered. Professional Single is a modern drama starring Irene Song and Aaron Dung and it premiered yesterday, October 17th. Set in art school, the drama follows an eloquent painter played by Irene Song and an aspiring sculptor played by Aaron Dung. Initially, both are intent on being single forever, hence the drama title, but something tells me that doesn't last too long. On the strength of its first few episodes, the drama has already been praised for being lively and humorous, and many a loving Irene song in it. Irene is probably best known for her role as Sang Sang in the Evernight series. Aaron has only one other drama before this, Love of Summer Night, which came out earlier this year. Professional Single is available on YouTube. They have a bunch of different subs, but the English one is Google Translated, so it's not the best. And moving on, I just want to mention a couple of dramas that I haven't spoken about but have recently been on my radar. Dear Myung Street is an upcoming modern drama starring Seven Tan and Timmy Xu. Set in the 80s, it's a story of youth and love and revolves around six families living on Myung Street in Guangzhou. Niu Junfeng plays a nice 18-year-old boy who moves back to the neighborhood and immediately falls for Seven Tan's character. Unfortunately for him, she's got eyes on the rugged-looking, bike-riding bad boy played by Timmy Xu. After some time, they all part ways. She eventually becomes a lawyer, the nice boy becomes a civil servant, and the bad boy, well, his path is not as straight. Seven Tan starred in the recent hit drama Go Ahead with Song Weilong and Steven Zhang. If you enjoyed that, I'd give this a shot. It has a similar feel to it in terms of the youth and love theme, although the characters are quite different. Timmy Xu's most recent drama to air was Midsummer is Full of Love, in which he starred with Yang Chaoyue. He's on a bit of a roll too, with some interesting dramas coming up. And Niu Junfeng recently had a supporting role in 20 Year Life On. Dear Myung Street wrapped in August of last year and I think it might be premiering soon. Just a gut feeling because they have been quite active on their Weibo recently. I will update again if and when they announce a premiere date. And another drama that I've been keeping tabs on is Octogenarians and the 90s. Octogenarians and the 90s is an upcoming modern drama starring Bai Jingting and Janice Wu. Janice Wu's character inherits the Sunshine House, a nursing home, from her grandmother. With the help of a young insurance salesman played by Bai Jingting, they try to revitalize it but are met with resistance from its octogenarian occupants. This looks to be one of those dramas that's filled with comedy arising from the generational gap and in the end hits you with the warm fuzzy feelings, at least that's the impression I'm getting. Bai Jingting's most recent drama to air was Ordinary Glory in which he stars with Mark Chow, whereas Janice Wu's was Skate Into Love with Steven Zhang. Hunan TV has announced Octogenarians in the 90s as coming in the next few months. Now that's a good sign, but coming in the next few months can mean many things in Chinese drama land. And when you consider that they also announced The Oath of Love with Yang Zi and Xiao Zhan as coming in the next few months, you become a bit skeptical. We've been waiting for that for more than a few months now. But I will stay positive, hopefully both will air sooner rather than later. The 30th Golden Eagle Awards were held last night in Changsha. So the Golden Eagle Awards, which are held once every two years, is considered one of the most prestigious awards in Chinese television. The winners are voted for by members of the China Television Artists Association and the nationwide audience. Here now are the winners of some of the more popular categories. Best Actress went to Tong Yao in Like a Flowing River. She's one of the ones I was rooting for. Some fellow nominees she beat out include Sun Li in I Will Find You a Better Home, Tao Hong in A Little Reunion, and Zhao Liying in The Story of Ming Lan. 
Best Actor went to Simon Yam in Macau Family. Congrats to him. Some fellow nominees he beat out include Chen Baoguo in The Legendary Tavern, Wang Kai in Like a Flowing River, and Jackson Yi in The Longest Day in Chang'an. And Best TV Series went to Diplomatic Situation. It beat out more than 30 other dramas on the shortlist. And now this is fun, here are the Online Popularity Awards. Zhao Liying won the Audience Choice Award for Actress with over 900,000 votes, and Wang Yipuo won the Audience Choice Award for Actor with over 2.6 million votes. Incidentally, the two star in The Legend of Fei, which many, myself included, are eagerly waiting for. Here's a nice picture of those two winners on the night. And here's one of most of the big winners of the night as they gathered on stage. And of course, you can't mention the Golden Eagle Awards without mentioning the Golden Eagle Goddess. This year's winner was Victoria Song, and she got to perform the opening act at the Golden Eagle TV Art Festival a couple of days ago. She edged out Seven Tan and Zhao Liying to win this year's crown. Victoria descended onto the stage from above with her golden gown, which reportedly weighed over 30 pounds. She must have gotten quite the workout as well. Previous holders of the Golden Eagle Goddess title include Del Raba, Tiffany Tang, and Zhao Liying. By the way, it was Zhao Liying's birthday a couple of days ago, October 16th. She celebrated with a cake and some flowers. Happy belated 33rd birthday to Zhao Liying. And it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas and Actors at the Moment, Edition 41, October 18th, 2020. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai, and we begin with the Top 10 Web Dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichiyi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Sweet First Love, the modern drama stars Ryan Ren and Kabi Hui. Number 9, Renaissance, the costume drama stars Chen Zhiyuan and Li Mozi. Number 8, The Moon Brightens For You, the costume drama stars Ellen Yu and Fair Sing. Number 7, Legend of Two Sisters and the Chaos, the costume drama stars Arif Rahman and Zoe Meng. Number 6, General's Lady, the costume drama stars Caesar Wu and Tang Ming. Number 5, Dating in the Kitchen, the modern drama stars Lin Yushen and Zhao Lusi. Number 4, The Promise of Chang'an, the costume drama stars Sarah Zhao and Cheng Yi. Number 3, Line Walker Bullfight, the modern drama stars Michael Mew and Raymond Lam. Number 2, Meeting You, the modern drama stars Fiction Guo and Wan Peng. And number 1, Love is Sweet, the modern drama stars Bai Lu and Liu Luo. Reunion The Sound of the Providence 2 completely drops off the list, which is kind of weird considering it was number 2 last week. Love is Sweet remains champion though, two weeks in a row now. And now the top 10 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China, and they include reruns. Number 10, Alignment, the Republican era drama stars Lin Jiangguo and Benny Qian. Number 9, Perfect Village, the modern drama stars Yang Zikang and Qi Xiang. Number 8, Ordinary Glory, the modern drama stars Mark Chow and Bai Jingting. Number 7, Heroes in Harm's Way, the modern drama stars Cheng Shu and Wang Zifei, among others. Number 6, Little Doctor, the modern drama stars Dong Zixian and Jenny Zhang. Number 5, Great Age, the modern drama stars Feng Shaofeng and Mabel Yuan. Number 4, With You, the modern drama stars Johnny Huang and Li Qing, among others. Number 3, Living Toward the Sun, the modern drama stars Rulu Jiang and Van Gogh Gao. Number 2, Happiness in Spring, the modern drama stars Li Chen and Wang Xiaochen. And number 1, Sniper, the Republican era drama stars Huang Xuan and Cheng He. Another peculiar one as To Dear Myself completely drops off the list when it was number 1 last week. In any case, it is displaced by Sniper. And now the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment. The list is based on drama performances, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. And on this list, there's no separation between web and TV. It's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Wang Yibuo. He won the Audience Choice Award for Actor last night at the Golden Eagle Awards. Number 9, Xiao Zhan. He stars in Heroes in Harm's Way with Eddie Khan. Number 8, Huang Xuan. He stars in Sniper with Cheng He. 
Number seven, Zhao Lushi. She stars in Dating in the Kitchen with Lin Yushen. Number six, Fiction Guo. He stars in Meeting You with Wan Peng. Number five, Bai Lu. She stars in Love Is Sweet with Liu Luo. Number four, Cheng Yi. He stars in The Promise of Chang'an with Sarah Zhao. Number three, Alan Yu. He stars in The Moon Brightens for You with Fair Sing. Number two, Liu Luo. He stars in Love Is Sweet with Bai Lu. And number one, Zhu Yilong. He stars in Reunion: The Sound of the Providence Two with Rachel Mao. So Zhu Yilong and Liu Luo continue to dominate, and Xiao Zhan is back in the top ten after falling to eleventh last week. So there it is, guys. Hope this gives you an idea of who and what dramas hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. And before I let you guys go, I want to give big virtual hugs to Carlota Ornelas and Corey J Holmes, who recently became patrons on my Patreon page. Thank you guys for your support. And thank you all for watching. This show would not be possible without your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. And if you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.